Welcome to Brevet on the Move. I'm Mike Lemire, your Brevet Trainer and Director. Today I'm here with Dr. Jeremy Metzler, Primary Sports Medicine Physician for Brevet Sports Medicine. He's also the Medical Director for the Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. Today we're talking about Pines and Pointers that's coming up on April 3rd, 7 o'clock, Tiletown Brewery. We're going to be talking about advanced treatments for runners. Today we're in front of an ultrasound unit. Dr. Metzler, how do we use this ultrasound unit in clinic? Yeah, ultrasound is typically used twofold. One is for diagnostic and the other one's for therapeutic. Uh, when I say diagnostic, that's looking at muscles, tendons, ligaments, to see if there's any type of injury or inflammation uh, that may be causing the patient's pain or uh, whatever they're complaining of that day. It's nice because it, it gives us the answer right away up front. Uh, we can show it to you right on the screen and, and uh, kind of look at it and see and go and uh, examine the part that's bothering them. It also can be used dynamically, so if you have something that's bothering you with a certain movement, we can put the ultrasound machine or the ultrasound probe on the, that area and make you go through the range of motion and see uh, what's causing or see if we see any abnormalities. The other part of this is therapeutic, uh, and that's mainly for injections. Uh, in the past, we used to just do injections blindly by feel, and we were pretty good at that, but now with the ultrasound, I can make sure I'm right in the spot where I need to be with an injection to make sure that we get the most benefit from that injection. There's a lot of different things out there about therapy, but there's a new thing called dry needling. What's dry needling? Yeah, dry needling uh, is a treatment for tendinopathy. Uh, it helps uh, increase blood flow to area to get the tissues to heal. So what I do is I use the ultrasound machine to find the regularity within the tendon, and then I use a needle with some numbing medication to go in there and kind of cause a little bit of damage to the area uh, to cause bleeding to increase the blood flow to area to get it to heal a little bit quicker. Thanks for the great information. Remember, pints and pointers, 7 o'clock, April 3rd, we're going to be talking about advanced treatment in runners. This is Mike Lemire, and this was Purvey on the Move.